I guess I'll do an intro. I guess. <laughs> it is your channel. I guess. Hi, I'm Tom Hawks, and you are watching Tom's Corner. Today, I have my good friend, Tim Gunderson, and we're going to be talking about I don't know what. Hey, shut up, Max. <laughs> yeah. Max, come here. Come here, Max. No, not that. Around. Lay right here. Lay right here. Lay down. Lay. <laughs> He's trying to try. Stop. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay. 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 There you go. Stay right there. Alright, let's try this one more time. Alright. Yeah, we can just cut that intro on and keep that. I'm down for that. Okay. I think it's more genuine, more authentic. Oh, so... Your band, I Feel Less, you guys just dropped an EP. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. How's that going? Oh, uh, really well. We just played a show, um at the well basement earlier this month in south bend um it was our ep release show and a lot of people showed up so many people to where um they normally have their shows in the basement of the mm -hmm. well but they had to move the show into the warehouse that's like right next door to it it's connected and um they had to move it to the warehouse because so many people showed up which they haven't had to do that for at least a few years. Was that not planned? No, no. They were anticipating, like, um, throwing the show in the basement, and we really promoted, like, the Facebook event. Like, we mm -hmm. invited, like, Everybody. almost all of our friends. <laughs> on, like, pretty much all of our friends on our, on our Facebook. And uh, the guy that runs the well basement, his name's Patrick, um, he sent... Gennaro, our uh, our lead singer, our uh, he sent him a message and he was like, "Hey, I've been looking at the Facebook event. Um, I really think like we should keep like close watch on it, and I think we might have to move the show to the warehouse because so many people were like going." Gennaro like, probably got really. Hyped oh yeah, Gen <laughs> Gennaro was stoked. I, I, we were all stoked. Like, we were. I didn't expect like. I mean, I expected people to come, but, like, I didn't... No, I didn't realize you up, guys had to change rooms. Yeah, yeah. Because I seen it was in there, but I didn't realize it was because it was Yeah, so that, that wasn't up. planned. Yeah, it, um, we ended up having, like, I think, like, 80-some 80, 80 people show up, which, mm -hmm. I mean, for a local show, yeah. for, like, local bands, like, that's a lot. And you guys sold all, all your EPs? That yeah, we yeah, we, um... We didn't have enough time to go through a printing company, mainly because we're all broke as hell, but um, we, well, we hand-pressed, well, when I say we, Gennaro. Gennaro and one of his friends, uh, they, like, hand-pressed, I think it was 20 copies of the EP, so we had, like, physical copies to sell there, and we also had stickers, mm -hmm. which I have right here. Stickers. Stickers. Hell yeah. Um, so they pressed like 20 copies and we sold all of them, which I was really like surprised because apparently people, <laughs> apparently people still buy CDs. So yeah, I, shit, I didn't realize that, but yeah, we sold all of our copies. Um, we sold like most of our stickers. So I think we're printing more and, uh, we're printing merch too, like shirts and stuff soon. So are you going to go through a, a local place or online? Um, Gennaro normally handles all that, but I think um, I think we're going through a local place. Like last I heard, they were like, "Yeah, we're, we're going to go through this guy I know," mm -hmm. and it was like, "Yeah, okay." Yeah, like, I mean just, that, that'll probably be cheaper online. Like if he personally knows him, yeah, because they'll, they'll like, probably cut him a deal. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't know. I'm excited to get shirts and stuff. Like to get like more merch other than just I, stickers. I bet, dude. Like just. The idea of just having, like, your name on shit. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's that's, weird. That's, like, it's it's cool. And, the like, other people wanting it. Yeah. Like, when we got um, when we got our stickers, I was just like, oh, this is weird. Because I've never really had, like, a band to where we've had merch. And, like, the fact that we actually have, like, very minimal amounts of merch, just CDs and mm -hmm. stickers. But still, like, it's our band's name. And it's just, like, it was kind of weird. It was just like, oh. Yeah, like, I, 
That's wild, dude. I'm I'm proud of you, dude. That's yeah, awesome. Thanks, man. It was um it was a really fun show. We played with a lot of really good bands. We played with um played with City Sun. It was really good. You should totally check them out. Um who else did we play with? We played with City Sun, um Stole Away, and I really liked their set. Um the Functional Citizens, who are from Michigan, they're like a pop punk, sort of like 90s, very vibey. I like Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I think they're from like either Kalamazoo. I think they're from Kalamazoo. But um, yeah, they were really cool. I played with them before. They're a bunch of really cool guys. I really like them. Um, and we played with Lenore, Lenore Colt. Um, and their set went like hard as fuck. Like their I've, set, I've heard of them. Yeah, yeah. Lenore is like, God, they're crazy as hell. Like they're they're so good live. I love I love their set. Like it, you can just go so hard to their music. I um I took this video of a guy that was like moshing, and he was just doing some like crazy shit like in the pit, and like he ended up doing like a cartwheel and some like ninja ass kick looking oh, shit. Yeah, I I remember I was at I was at one of your shows. And there was this guy, like, eyes closed, just punching. Oh, yeah. It was, like, everywhere. I was like, whoa. It was probably the same dude. Like, yeah, like, it, it's, <laughs> a, it's just a sweat bee. I'm not going to die. But, <laughs> unfortunately. But, yeah, like, I've never gone moshing. Like, I didn't, like, grow up with that shit. Yeah. But, um, this is frightening. Are you sure that's a sweat bee? I'm telling myself it's a sweat bee. I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm allergic to bees. Are you? Are you? If I get stung, I'll like swell up and I'll die on camera. <laughs> At least we can document it. Hell yeah! And this video is gonna go viral if you die. That's true. I guess this bee just wants some of my. Your bands will probably sell more albums. <laughs> yeah, dog. That's definitely not a sweat bee. He just wants some of my Coca-Cola. Let him have it, Chet. <laughs> I, I damn near might have to. He's the one that's armed and dangerous. <laughs> uh, uh. Should we move inside? Nah, it's all good. He'll go away. Alright. Hopefully. Dog, I'm just trying to fucking chill here. We're just trying to make a video. We're just trying to make a video and there's bees flying around. My phone's going off. I should probably turn my ringer off. Yeah. Right? Or keep it on. I mean, I mean, I keep it genuine. Like I don't like. I want this podcast to be very um genuine, genuine. But like, like I want it to feel like the viewers involved in the conversation and they're yeah. just hanging out, mm -hmm. and it's not like a formal thing. We're just uh, sitting out here in Tom's backyard, and we're uh, smoking a brisket <laughs> and some ribs. And uh, I'm the meat chef. I'm the meat chef. <laughs> I'm the meat chef. <laughs> it's doubly good if you hunt the animal yourself. <laughs> what are you guys having for dinner tonight? Brisket and ribs, I hope. Sweet baby rays. Sweet baby rays. Or sweet baby rays. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know uh, what video we're talking about, um, it's this video on Facebook that. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg did a live stream from his backyard and he was like smoking like a brisket and some ribs and Literally like the live stream lasted a pretty good amount of time and uh, The entire time he was just talking about like smoking meats and like what other a, stuff. A, a it's really guy. weird. It's a weird video and um, I found like someone like cut down the video and they only like put in the parts where he's talking about like smoking meats and it's still like it's like a two and a half minute video and it's just really weird like cutaways it's really funny though so you should check it out um the link will probably be somewhere i'm sure yeah i might even intertwine it in the video yeah that'd be pretty like funny. when we reference stuff yeah i'm the meat chef yeah i'm eventually gonna like I mean, eventually as in like tomorrow thursday when this comes out i'm gonna put this on like spotify soundcloud mm. itunes 
like the audio version. Yeah, the, well the video will be out Thursday, it'll be on SoundCloud, and then it'll take a few days to get on iTunes, because they have to like verify the accounts. and. Okay. I think they just have to watch it to make sure you're not putting hate speech oh, on iTunes. Yeah. But, not that um, I make my hate speech public, but <laughs> <laughs> I keep that on the down low. I keep that on the DL. Um, Dude, it's right in my ear. How about like, how about you? You're kind of like rebranding everything right now. Yeah, kind of doing yeah. New stuff. Like, how's that? It's it's solid. I really like that all my social media is exactly the same. Yeah. It's, because I'm sure it's like way more helpful. Yeah, because I put out a Facebook post and I just said all my social media is I'm Tom Hawks. And then yeah. like not I didn't get a bunch of followers off of that, but just the fact that people found my Instagram, my Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook without me having to tell them each individual thing. It's so helpful. Yeah. And like Gary V, everything is Gary V E E. Everything. Yeah. Literally like it's unbelievable. Like he's on everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's um it's just easier to promote. And if I ever had merch, hell, I might even just get a shirt with just I'm Tom Hawks and I'm Tom Hawks on the back. Yeah. And then, like, if I did, like, that would just... Yeah. That'd be cool, man. Like... Yeah, because before, I mean, I had, like, Tomahawk4298, 4298, yeah, on Snapchat, and it's, like... It uh, was, like, still pretty the same, but, like, I don't know, I'm Tom Hawks, I think, like... It's, flows it, it flows it flows better it just it sounds better instead of like tomahawk this tomahawk that yeah and then it's like Tom, thomas hawks 98 on twitter and then tomahawk madness underscore yeah it's like, like just random it's just shit. like it's the, it's inconvenient there, yeah. there, there's more friction yeah and when you eliminate friction and make it easier for people to find your content and consume your content you're, you're just going to get more views and grow faster mm -hmm. like that's I don't know, like, I think it would be a lot easier to find things when, like, every social media has, like, the same name, because, yeah, like, even with my band, all of our stuff is, like, I feel less 574, and, like, all that stuff is, uh, the same, I think our Twitter is the same, I think our Instagram is the same, yeah. and, uh, our Facebook is just I feel less. Yeah, it's easier, because, I mean, at that point, you just tell people, like, I feel less 574. Yeah. And then, that's all they need. And what I also like is when new platforms come out, people will search that. Yeah. yeah. And then definitely. you don't even have to tell them that you're on there. They can just search it and know if you're on there because you're going to have that name. Because you're going to have the, yeah, the same thing. Yeah. yeah. And what I'm pumped for is when somebody steals it on a new platform that comes out in like 10 years and they email me like, pay me this much and I'll, I'll, I'll let you have it. And yeah. like, it sounds like a negative, but I'm pumped because once I get to that point, I know I won. Oh, definitely. Like, yeah, like, like I, I know at that point, like, it's all upside. Yeah, like, I'll give you this amount of money to, like, yeah. buy the handle from me. Yeah, which I don't think it's legal. Like, I'm pretty sure you can, like, just fight that or something. Well, there was this one thing. Um, it was a while back. I, I found a thread on Twitter of, um, it was, it was Diddy, uh, P. Diddy, and, uh, his real name is Sean Combs, and he got in, like, a Twitter argument with this guy who, where his at was just, like, Sean Combs, mm -hmm. and he was like, I'll pay you, and, like, the guy was just being really stubborn, and, like, no, I won't give you this, I won't <laughs> give you this, uh, handle, because he was like, I'll, s I sell Combs, and my name is Sean, and, I don't know, it, they got in, like, a whole Twitter, like, beef about it, and I thought it was really funny. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I almost bought a, um, the, uh, I don't even know what the fuck the term is. The URL, um, tomahawkmadness.com. Mm -hmm. Like, I almost bought it. It's like 11 bucks a month or 3 bucks a month or some shit. It's a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> but, like, I figured I would have it. Which I'm glad I didn't because now everything's on Tomahawks. Yeah. You like? Have you ever like built a website or anything? No, ever? I would use um, something like Bluehost or like, or like Squarespace. Squarespace, yeah. Just something that would. Um, I think Bluehost is like a hosting website, very similar to Go Go GoDaddy.com. Yeah. Which I thought was like a fucking boring website. <laughs> 
like when, when I was like growing up, because it would always show up like GoDaddy.com, and there would be like hot chicks and shit. Yeah. In the video, yeah. and like tits flying around. Yeah, like Danica Patrick was the uh, she was the spokeswoman. Yeah, so I was like, for, that, that's like a, you know, that, that's that's like, I don't know what that is because I'm like five or six, but damn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I had no idea I either that shit. growing up. I was so, just like, like, and as I got older, I was like, oh, that, that's probably like a porn website or like prostitution or something. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So I I found out it was a hosting website. I went to it. I'm like, what? Those ads were misleading as fuck. As fuck. Like, like I mean, it might just be because I was younger. Yeah. And like, I didn't put two and two together because I didn't understand. But damn. So yeah, definitely streamlining the name is gonna help. And plus now it's like, then as we were talking about the other day, it's like expectations are gone. Oh yeah, like I can just do whatever now. Mm-hmm. But um, I actually yesterday I put all the profile pics in my social media, mm-hmm. and I was overthinking it. Yeah, like I spent two days like this has to be perfect because I'm rebranding. Like this is like first impressions now. I don't want to fuck this up. Yeah. But I realized, you know, I'm trying to perfect it Max. because I'm afraid of it, like, failing. But I'm not going to go anywhere if I don't. So, I literally just took, like, a selfie right there and mm-hmm. just put it everywhere. Because, yeah, I mean, like, sometimes you just got to be, like, very simplistic. Because I think, like, with profile pictures for anything, really, like, you just want it to be, you know, a good kind of, like, encapsulation of mm-hmm. what your channel or like your profile is going to be about yeah and also i don't think it matters yeah yeah because i mean it's the content yeah yeah definitely and like if, i think like and if like i go daily and there's like a lot of micro content and pushing it just takes one clip for somebody to say hell yeah i like oh, this yeah guy. i like this yeah and then it's not like the profile picture is going to make them say wait a minute yeah great video great videos but his profile picture sucks yeah or his cover photo is weird like yeah I don't think people are going to care. It's more so about, like, what you're actually doing than it is about, like, yeah, how you're presenting yourself, I think. Yeah, because, or if you like, tweeted something 10 years ago that was really fucked up. Yeah, like, people are just... <laughs> yeah. They'll, they'll bring in, like, some, some famous person will tweet something that was, like, really yeah. <laughs> fucked up, like, yeah. 10 years ago. Did you see that Dan Harmon got in trouble? Uh, no, I didn't. He made a video about, like, basically raping a kid that was, like, like, That's like, like a, like a, a baby, but it was, like, on a web series. And it was, like, a clearly, like, a, a comedy sketch web series from, That's, like, a decade ago. That's not okay. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I don't think it's okay in the 2018 world. Yeah. But I think back then... It was way less PC. I don't know. Like I still, it, it might I still have been, think that's not okay. Yeah, I don't think it's okay at all. But I think it's. I think the environment was edgier back then. Yeah, it's like the shit people said on Xbox Live a decade oh, yeah. ago is yeah. way worse than it is now. Oh, definitely. They, you know, Xbox Live like used to be such a. It was toxic. Oh, it was terrible. It was like terrible. not not a good environment yeah. to be in. Like all. like Jacob, he talks about. Oh yeah, these kids were saying this. I'm like, like, dude, you have no idea. How you bad have it used no to be. idea. I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> you, if, like when we were in middle school. Like, yeah. dude, that. Yeah, I just said some fucked up shit. And like that was before like you would even get banned from servers for pl- like saying shit like that because like no. now people will like report you and like. Yeah, every the. There's a report system. Like, everybody is a pussy on the internet. <laughs> everybody. I think it's like sometimes we just don't know how to take a joke, but sometimes people just go, like, too far. Yeah. I think, I think it's kind of like a... Like a um, yeah, I, sure. I, I mean, I get offended, too, sometimes. Oh, 100%. Yeah. But, like, the difference is I just keep my mouth shut. I don't try to get the person's account taken away. Yeah. You know? Unless someone's, like, encouraging someone else to to kill themselves. Oh, yeah. Like, I reported a guy on Twitter, um... I don't remember. They were encouraging someone else to commit suicide. I was like, whoa, that's, that's not cool. yeah, no. So, like, I dropped a report, and Twitter said, yeah, they violated terms of service, but... Yeah. All right, that's all we got today, guys. I'm Tom Hawks. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Is that good? Yeah, man.
Tom. My yeah. name is Tom. Tom. And Tom. Tom. I have a head. Tom. Tom. And I yeah. use my head. Tom. Tom. To sing you a song. Tom. Tom. My yeah. name is Tom. Tom. Tasty. And I like to eat Tom. food. Tom. That's scrumptious. And I Tom. eat food Tom. every Divine. day. Tom. Yeah. Tom.